Hey guys, this is a quick uh, recruitment video with me just uh, recruiting different characters. I've just spliced a few small videos together as I've found everybody. I'm having to do this because on these three little videos, for some reason it didn't record me um, as I usually do it. So I'm having to do this and add it over later. So this is the next little step of the um, storyline. So, this is the answer to getting all the boats in such a short time. So they've used the dragon to make 500 boats made out of ass. But I don't see any sails, so I don't know if they're paddling all the way from wherever we are. But we're not doing that just yet. We're going to go out and we're going to recruit some more people while we have the chance. So this is just showing me on my little mission to recruit people. I'm just getting a bit stuck on the door there. Uh, so it's time to come here. Because before this I couldn't go. She'd forgot the spell. So you had to go through that little... Uh, plot point there and we're going to Kaleka first the abandoned village which was destroyed uh, by the Empire in a battle so what are we doing here might have I paused this so long like this I don't know whether to do this or not no, I've just let it go. I'm not wrong building. And we're looking for Leon Silverberg. Which is Odessa's father. So before this he was a bit reluctant to come and join him. He's a bit reluctant to join. He just gave his advice to um, recruit as many people as possible. And that was the key to success in the war. And uh, he gave us a letter to send to Matthew, and uh, we've given him the letter back now. And he does all that, and then he turns up himself. I don't you love pointless uh, errands. But we need uh, we need uh, all the help we can get. So I think he'll be one of the guys who boosts the powers. Uh, for the army, like Matthew and his assistant Apple, how they improve your charge during battles. I think that's what this guy will do. So now we've got Leon Silverberg, so a great strategist. So now we've got two on our team, and that's another one, and we're getting pretty close to getting about everybody. But uh, I think that's about it for this video, I'm not too certain. But I think that's about it. Um, I think that's where this little section ends and we're going to cut now to the next attempt uh, to recruit someone. And that is coming back to the Dragon's Den. And uh, we're going to hop on Blaze. On, um, is it Blaze he's called? No, it's not Blaze. I forgot what it's called now. It, just, it said it at the beginning, that woman. Is this Milia's Dragon. And we're going back to uh, the level over here where we fought the Crystal Core. Because we know that there's the blacksmith over here, the head blacksmith. 
and uh, the master of the craft and uh, he did say that um, our base was too small uh, our castle was too small but now I think we've got the top castle now I think we've got the full upgrade so I decided to come back here and see if uh, could track him down and gain his services. So that's what we're doing. And I brought Kazim with me as well, that was the newly recruited um, great general. So we've now got three of the five great generals. Just a sad fact that uh, we couldn't recruit. Our father T.O. was, would have had four. And I think the last one is the next battle we're coming up against um, at the Floating Fortress. That's where the last of the great five generals is. So it's along this right path as you come up to these, this three pong path. And because we've got certain lower level members, I had to do these fights, I think. I couldn't avoid, avoid fighting them. But yeah, we've more or less gotten everybody now. So I'm now just going around hunting for the last few people. Because there's not many more to get now. this last rock dude now. Get him out of the way. I don't know what that was about. I think he defended that. So there you go, experience points of plenty. And a little bit of got and a little bit of uh, money as well. Bits as they're called on this. So here he is, Maze. So we're going to attempt to recruit him once again. <laughs> okay. And after all that, you find out that he wants, it's like Moore's, the other blacksmith before that, he wants all these guys there. So that's it, we're on to the next one. And that is the last level that we did uh, at the castle where Kazim was. And you noticed that uh, there was another prisoner in with uh, Warren and Victor. And for some inexplainable reason, he decides not to escape with the others and to just stay there. Because I just fully expected him to automatically come with us. And that is um, Vincent, the guy who was trying to get into the... Knights of the Dragon Den's castle lands and uh, he helped you out showing you the side passage. Uh, it's him. So that's how you get in here. So you've got to remember to go back once you've done this level. Make sure you go all the way back through the level and release him from prison. Because he's, he's too dumb to take his first opportunity of doing it. So. And we might as well beef up our experience points and money while we're at it because you get quite a decent bit of money while you're here. In fact, this level is a great place to make money because you get a lot of money. Uh, certain fights you'll get like 25,000 bits. And um, there's a rest point down at the bottom near the entrance as you come into the right. There's a guy who will save your progress and he lets you rest as well. So you don't need to take a lot of high potions in there with you, you can just keep resting and keep resting and just keep battling, battling, battling until you've got as much money as you, as you want really for whatever you're wanting to get. But I think now at the point I've reached before recording these videos, I'm, I've got uh, our character's almost fully leveled up now, his weapon. I think because he only goes up to level 16 I think, weapons. And everybody else is on around level 13 because it gets expensive, especially when 
you're trying to level everybody up, uh, everybody's weapons up. It means that you've got to pay like 35,000 coins for each person. So it gets damn expensive. And when you're only getting 10, 15,000 a battle, it means lots and lots of battles. Plus, because of the levels on this, uh, with having Warren and some of the others we've made, uh, I couldn't run away from these battles either, so this is what made this bit a little bit time consuming as well, until everybody had levelled up nicely. But I just felt in the mood to try a few different people, so that's why I tried Kazim. I thought he'd probably be quite strong being a later on character. And being a general of an army as well, but he was okay, but he wasn't amazing. But and his weapon, you can't even blame his weapon either because his weapon is quite a high level. I think his weapon's at like level 13 already, so he isn't one of those characters you've got to level up lots either. So but that was an extra 15,000 bits as well, but we're almost there now. It's going across the rope. It's a good job that the rope's still there. And I got stuck on that bit again, forgot that the door's up there. But yeah, so this guy will make it just a handful of people to get now. And there he is, sitting all lonesome there. <laughs> we should have saved your life the first time. But it does mean we get to get the the uh, the treasure as well over there. <laughs> and he's bad mouthing Kazim, who happens to be in our party as well. <laughs> so we've got a failed aristocrat with us now. I thought he already knew we were in the Liberation Army, actually. That's because you don't have any aristocratic standing anymore. So there you go, that's how you get Vincent the Bull, anyway. And we get a nice little thing for our trouble, I forgot it was now. Mother Earth Crystal, which I don't know what that is. But anywho, that's another two characters, and we know how to get the other one, so that's another three characters kind of shown in this game. Uh, thanks for watching guys, but I'll be back real soon with another video shortly. See you later.